Hello, this is Tofu and Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce to you an add-on that I just found out a few days ago, which is, I've been using it, or experimenting with, with it since then, but it's something that's really helpful that I've seen that has helped me so far in the few times that I've used it. And it's called the Atomic Manager. And that's from Remington. I didn't know he made uh, add-ons, but this is one that's actually free. And it does quite a bit of organizing for your blend files and helps you pretty much clean it up. And I'm just going to show you as a beginner what you can use it for. Now I've downloaded this scene from the Blender website. And it's just a uh, demo scene from a... Uh, I think it was a screenshot that they used for 2.79 or 2. Point, I think it was 2.79 maybe earlier and um, what the atomic manager does I'll leave a description in the description below I'll leave a link to the add-on in the description below this video uh, but once you've downloaded it and you've installed it you know by going to edit preferences and then install navigate to where you've installed it and or downloaded it and installed it onto blender you've done all that it's going to appear in the scene properties panel click on that and it's right down here and it's really really helpful now let's say you have a scene like this which has happened which I've been doing a lot of scenes like this where it's just a lot of elements in it a lot of models a lot of things you're trying to figure out you know you know what can I do with this add-on that's going to help me with this kind of a scene for myself what I've seen is that sometimes I would use a texture and I would delete the texture but the thing with blender that I've also seen is that even if you've deleted a texture it's still for some reason it's still saved in blender and then when blender tries to calculate your scene it actually calculates the texture that you're not even using that you deleted which is kinda weird but that's I don't know if that's a bug or what that is but that's just what happens to me and I'm sure it happens to other people out there too and let's just let's just set up something like that right now let me click on that and let's go to our uh, materials properties let's click on that I'm going to click on that and I'm going to make it a single user by clicking in that little option there and that makes it just a user a text use for this particular element and I'm going to delete that and let me see let me do one more let me click on that material and like I said before it's it's good it's a good thing to name all your uh, elements in your scene this wasn't done to the to that extent I mean so all elements are named but most of them aren't but to help you with management in, in your blender files or your scenes it's good to just name everything accordingly but let's delete that make that single user also and let's delete that and I'm going to type in yoke we're going to just create because this is already in here let me click on that and you see it's changed the color so I'm going to make that also single user and delete that now if we try to add that material back into blender we're going to just I'm just going to show you what it looks like in terms of that material not being present in this file anymore let me type in yoke now when you see a zero in front of a name of a texture that means that that texture no longer is being used in the scene and like I said before, for some reason, Blender still calculates it in the scene, which I don't know why when it's not being used. And that takes up a lot of render time. But with this add-on, it actually can find those uh, textures for you that you aren't using, and it will delete them for you. And the best way to do that that I've seen is using the Smart Select. So you click on Smart Select, it'll say Materials. And then click on Clean. And it'll show you all the materials, yoke, white, rim, and so, so on and so forth that you've all uh, you've already deleted that you're not using it'll show you where those are and you just click on OK and if you go back to try to find those materials again which we'll do right now let, let's type in yoke it's not there so that saves a lot of render time when it comes to deleting textures in your scene that you're not using so that's one thing that I've you've been using it for now the, this, this uh, add-on is pretty much self-explanatory it just lists everything in your scene that you need to know it has stats for nerds so you have categories 
which once again is self-explanatory. It gives you the overview of what's in your file, the, your file size, the number of collections you've got, the number of lights, nodes, textures, images, materials, but particle systems, and your worlds. And it saves a lot of time. Let's say you want to delete, let's say, lights in your scene. What you can do, instead of like trying to find every single light, when you have a massive scene like this, you have more than one element, like more than one light, it's going to be a challenge trying to navigate through here, trying to find your lights, and it's also can be time consuming going to the outliner tab and try to find the lights like that. But with this add-on, you just click on the element that's that you're wanting to delete, lights, and you just do clean. It finds all the lights in your scene, and click OK, and it deletes lights. Just that simple. It does the same thing with collections, node groups, textures, images, materials, particles, and the world. It just cleans up everything. And if you press nuke on here, it's just going to clean the whole thing and restart you fresh. Let's click on nuke, and then click OK. Actually, let's we'll have to select. Uh, that's a mistake I just made. Just select what you want to clean up. Let's select all that. Click nuke. It'll list everything in your scene. Probably have to, you know, uh, toggle down a little bit because a lot of things are in your scene. Just click OK, and it cleans your scene. If you find that you've made a mistake, just do click undo, and it's going to bring everything back. So this is a really helpful add-on, not only for beginners, just for anybody who needs to have an an organized scene in Blender. Once again, naming conventions or the naming of your elements is important. So I would kind of name everything in your scene. And you just use this, just download add on this free open source. Download it and use it as needed. You can search for collections, search for lights. This is what the, these icons are. You just click on search and you just type in what you're looking for and it'll find it for you. It actually, and another feature, you'll see that when you look through their site. If you ever open up uh, a scene in Blender and you're missing a texture, like an image texture, usually it'll be pink. And what it does, what this uh, add-on does is that once you open it up, it'll tell you, hey, this texture is missing. And then it'll have a pop-up and it'll give you options on how to find that texture or options of where you want to look for the texture. And you just click OK and it brings the texture back. So this is it's a small add-on, but it's extremely helpful, and it has helped me a lot so far. And I'll, I think I'll start using this a lot more. You know, keep this as my workflow in the future. But yeah, that's today's Blender quick tip, which is managing your Blender scenes in Blender using the atomic <coughs> excuse me the atomic manager in Blender by Remington. And uh, yeah, hopefully this uh, tutorial has helped a lot of people. And once again, I thank guys who are watching and those of you who have watched, who, will, who are going to watch in the future. Thank you guys who have subscribed and who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on, on the next one. All right, adios.